It's truly amazing how much Microsoft has managed to dominate the OS market share with Windows over the years. The default Bliss wallpaper in Windows XP is still probably the single most viewed image of all time. Not some piece of Renaissance artwork that was painstakingly made hundreds of years ago when people travel from all over the world to look at, but a desktop background that Microsoft purchased and slapped in there as an afterthought. I also wouldn't be surprised if the startup sound for Windows XP or some other ubiquitous Windows sound effect is the most common sound ever heard. And while the faces of the Beatles are more recognizable around the world than the face of Jesus Christ, the frowny face with a blue background that became the new blue screen of death starting with Windows 8 will likely eclipse their level of fame as well, especially after the CrowdStrike incident. But despite the unmatched fame of Windows, Microsoft has absolutely no respect for the fans and users of their product. They told us back in 2015 when Windows 10 came out that it would be the final version of Windows. Now, even though I had personally been using Linux Mint for a few years at that point, I was happy to hear about a standardized version of Windows because I thought that it would be the last version of that OS that I would need to learn in order to provide technical support for my family or for the occasional time that I find myself needing to use Windows for some reason. But in less than one year, Windows 10 is going to be reaching its end of life meaning it will no longer receive security updates and the boomers that we provide technical support for will need to move on to a more current OS to preserve their digital security. Now, as you probably know, every tech company is shoehorning AI into their products right now if they haven't already, and Microsoft is no exception. The Copilot feature, which up to recently I thought was only going to be enabled by default on the Copilot Plus PCs with their fancy neural processing units, was enabled on Windows 10 and Windows 11 machines after a recent update. I found out about this when one of my old folks told me that a strange rainbow icon appeared next to their start menu after their computer did some updates. Keep in mind, that this is a desktop computer that's about 15 years old in this case, and all this person uses their computer for is checking emails, basic word processing, and the occasional Bible study Zoom call. They do not need nor want artificial intelligence of any kind in their operating system. It was already bad enough when the start slash search menu became connected to Bing in Windows and would start searching the internet for files and programs and stuff that you were trying to search for locally on your computer. But now the first result of these searches that are produced by that menu will be AI generated ones courtesy of Bing. Now, these AI-generated results are often hilariously wrong, like recommending you use glue to thicken up the cheese on a pizza, or telling someone that there are 150 Planet Hollywood restaurants in Guam. I don't think there's 150 of any restaurant chain in Guam, let alone one as uncommon as Planet Hollywood. But the results with AI can be much worse than funny answers to trivial questions, a study I was reading about AI-powered search results for medical and drug information claims that up to 66% of the results generated from these chatbots could potentially be harmful, and up to 22% of the advice, if followed by the patient, could result in severe harm or even death. But this is the kind of thing that I could see our old folks looking up information on, so hopefully, yours know better than to believe what they read on the internet and to be especially skeptical of what an AI tells them to do with their medication. And speaking of Microsoft's AI features, Recall has returned. If you installed the 2.4H2 update for Windows 11, the Recall feature, which takes screenshots of your desktop every few minutes or whenever there's significant changes to the windows that you have open, and analyzes the text in those images so that you can then search back through what was opened, kind of like internet history, but for literally everything on your computer. That feature 
got turned back on after users installed the update. You probably already know that recall was a huge privacy concern when Microsoft originally announced it, and if you didn't, hopefully the description of it gave you some concerns about the privacy. And although there have been tweaks made to recall in order for it to store the screenshots on your desktop more securely, it's still the kind of thing that most Windows users do not want, and therefore it should never be enabled by an OS update. It should never be something that's on by default. The user should have to purposefully go into their settings and turn a feature like that on. Now, if recall ever does get fully enabled on your computer, and I'll discuss what that means in a moment, you can disable it from the privacy and security section of your Windows settings, and this is the recommended way to disable it because turning off recall completely could actually break your Windows installation. Which brings me to the part of the video that's directed at the people that are providing tech support to Windows users. Be very careful with using the WinUtil scripts or any other similar Windows debloating tool to strip out the unnecessary features because it turns out that Recall is actually a dependency of the latest file explorer in Windows. Chris Titus Tech already made two videos about this issue that I really recommend you go watch, and the GitHub issue that's related to the bug has been closed, so you should be able to use the latest version of WinUtil safely. But basically, if you delete all the files that are related to the Windows Recall feature, then the modern file explorer that has dark mode and support for multiple tabs is going to stop working and you'll be defaulted to using the Windows 7 era file explorer that doesn't have all those nice features. So Recall is now a dependency of file explorer. Even though it doesn't have to be actively running and taking screenshots on your computer, the files that are related to Recall need to stay in place for everything to work. But this doesn't really make sense from a technical standpoint. The tabs feature in Windows has existed for over a year now, and I think that they actually came out with the 2.2.h2 update. And dark mode has been a core feature of Windows for a very long time now. In fact, Microsoft actually beat most of the competition to the punch with dark mode. Of course, different Linux distributions had that feature for a very long time before anyone else, and I suspect the same is true for BSD flavors, but Windows 10 had dark mode as a core feature without third-party tools two years before macOS did, and three years before iOS and Android. I bring this up because obviously those features didn't have to depend on recall back then. They've existed long before the AI hype even began, at least dark mode did. And I honestly doubt that most Windows users even knew about the tabs in File Explorer because they're so used to not having it. So making recall a File Explorer dependency in Windows tells me that Microsoft really just wants to push this stuff on its users. The solution I recommend is, of course, switching to a desktop Linux operating system so that you can finally have some control over your computer. And this is only tangentially related, but have you noticed how over the years the My Computer icon from Windows XP just became this PC? I'm sure somewhere in the EULA, Microsoft has always stated that the computer isn't really yours when you're using Windows, but I can't help but feel like this change in wording was a subtle hint about what was to come. Anyway, I'm going to start looking into distros and themes that can recreate the feel of Windows 10 before its death in Linux so that more of my old folks can join Team Penguin. Let me know any software you recommend for achieving that in the comments below. Give this video a like and share it to hack the algorithm and buy some of my merch from my website, based.win. Save 10% at checkout by paying in Monero XMR and have a great rest of your day.